Simple hand tools out in the field to pick apples from a tree I found. I decided, you know, maybe get an apple picker and maybe ask the people if I could go in their yard. I noticed no one's picking the apples. Maybe they'll be kind enough to let me. If not, I, if so, then I'd like to have an apple picking device. But if I was to buy one or order one, by the time it got here, it might not be good enough. And it's like freezing outside. I mean, the snow is starting to come. So it's not freezing, but it's just around freezing. So I'm thinking the apples are the time thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make, you can see that, a device with the stick in this container to um, make a little makeshift uh, apple picker. That way I'll have that ready. I'll maybe go test it out today and uh, maybe knock on the door and ask them if I could pick their apples. I mean, I've been taking them anyway, but the ones I'm taking are out on the sidewalk and in public land. So it's really anyone's land there. And I'm not damaged in the tree. And like I said, it doesn't look like in the last few days or weeks that I've been going by there, no one's eating that. You're doing good? You don't know? Okay, well, I'm doing good. I cut some of the top off. I'm gonna put this in here. I think I'm gonna drill some holes in there and nail it to there. Minute. My tools are pretty unorganized. The past life's pretty unorganized, but I've been organizing it for quite some time. So just haven't gotten the tools yet. But I'm there now. I'm there now. So I'm gonna organize those tools, the garage, the basement soon enough. But meanwhile, I got things to build. So shuffling the tools to find them. But I don't get frustrated. I'm a happy look. You know, I've been taught and worked with people in the in my elders. Throwing tools, screaming, yelling, worked in the trades, and all that. I think I actually was like that more myself back when I was a drinker, but I'm much calmer now. But I still, you know, obviously it'd be much nicer to have your tools organized and easy to access. So, I'm getting there, getting there with my house. Got there with my body pretty much. In my mind. Okay, let's see what I got here. So this is pretty strong. And then there, now I gotta figure out how to. Pretty solid. So, it's gonna be one. I gotta take it. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make it like an apple picker. Probably cut some of it out. I don't want to lose the integrity of this, so I might just keep this whole big shape. I could probably cut a little hole out here, like a birdhouse hole out. 
And that'll be where I'll pick the apples and then they could all fall in here. I could probably, you know, keep picking. Store like three, four, five, six apples in there before I bring it down and unload it. I mean, kind of a big, awkward container. Uh -oh. Dogs are barking at me. One thing. Yes, the FedEx man's out there. Yes. I think I got a special something coming my way now. Special delivery. Like, like back in the day with the, watching the old Mr. Rogers. Oh, it must be Mr. McFeely. Mr. McFeely. <laughs> Strange name, but. Oh, yes, it is. Earthly delights. And truly a delight they will be. So, a little interruption from my work here. To check out my earthly delights. I don't know if you know what my earthly delights mean, but they mean something to me. And nice. Earthly delights. What could it be? What could my earthly delights be? I'm making an apple picker to go get some earthly delights. The key, because you know, make it frozen out. You know, this turning of the seasons, and it's the last of the seasons for these. But look what I got: some paw paws. Definitely the last. They told us it's the last. But these are looking nice. But I ordered them. Oh yeah, some of them might even be ripe. And uh, got the last of the season on them. Only my pawpaw tree would grow. I don't know. I'm still working on that. I got plenty of seeds, so next spring I'm really going to concentrate on getting some pawpaw smoke. But for now, I got these. And that's it. That's, you know, at least it's something. End of the season. We're going into fall and winter, you know. What I got, I got it bolted to there. So, you know, long stick. Should be long enough to get most of the apples. And then this is what I did with the fun part. The idea, I guess, is to you know, latch on the stem right where the apple is, and then the apple will fall in there. Is perhaps this should be recessed. This should be back further so that it definitely have a lip coming out of the front because I mean it might still pull off and kick this and fall out but I don't know if I want to go doing all that until I see if this it might work like this so just trying to envision how I'm going to grab them and then get a stem and hopefully I want them to fall in there should be able to knock them down I don't want to try to catch them though that's how I was doing. With the stick, that's what I was doing. I was hitting and hopefully catching it, because if I don't catch it, it hits the sidewalk, then they bust open. And then I have to eat them that day, which I had to eat like five or six of them yesterday, which wasn't a problem, because I wanted to eat them. But if I'm going to go get more before it gets too cold, I want to hopefully, uh, so they don't land on the ground. If I had another person with me, maybe too, then they could catch them, but... Kind of me going solo at this, so I think I'm gonna try this out. If it works, it should work. The only thing I'm thinking I could be set this back, but I didn't mess with the integrity of this and then it's tape it or some way to, you know, make that work. Like I can make it like this lip comes out and then this goes back to here. You know, it'll be more like this, and like an owl. That way I definitely have it would fall into there. It might be a better design, but I guess I'll see if this works. If not, I'll go back to the drawing board and do that. But with doing that, I don't know about the integrity of everything. I, mean, I guess the top tape would be strong enough way to fasten this part back to here. I'll put a little pad in there. Let's see apples fall. Alright. Yeah, it's a nice little bed to fall. Okay. 
That may prove to be the easiest part. Now I'm going to figure out how to ride my bike with that. I guess I'll figure that out. I just have to hold it. It's not too far. Got my raincoat, got my bed. Go out on the adventure, see how this works. Fairly soaking wet, and uh, a little bit frozen. Um, this worked awesome. Best apple picker ever that I made. I was picking like five, six at a time. Sometimes just going up there, grabbing them, staying up there, and grabbing, grabbing. They all fit in that basket. And look at this. My biggest foraging score of the year, I'd say. I don't know how many pounds I got, but I was carrying them on the bike, so, um, and carrying this, <laughs> and riding in the snow, or like snowish, slushish, rainish, just some snow on the ground, weather through traffic, so it's only maybe, you know, two, two miles, three miles from here, so it's not too far, but I'm soaked, a little cold, but. It was worth it. Now I got plenty of food to eat. Now these apples are going to store up, so I got as many as I could get today. And with my new device that I made, this, for apple picking, take it, get it up there, and hook the apple in there, and pull, and a little padding down there, so hopefully the apples get a nice. So I went to this tree. There's two different trees that I know that are in sleep almost. A little bit of snow on the grass areas from last night, but look at this store. I got, that's why I want to get them because I figure, you know, in the bag grip. I was like, oh no! But I kept that against my body. And I was riding the bike too, so if you can imagine all that, it's a moon. I mean, apples in the store may look perfect, but are they going to carry the nutrients that these are? I don't know. I don't think so. I think these are much better. And although they're local, and it's 
getting there fall. I'm supposed to get another freeze or snow on Halloween, I guess. But I don't know. Maybe not. It'll warm up. Okay. I'll probably go back. I wanted to see if that apple pickle thing I made worked, and it worked well. Thank you.